Hiya fam, welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. We're back with another reaction. It's movie time and we got a first timer for both of us here. What is this, Dan? We're watching Denzel Washington and the Equalizer. It's our first Denzel movie too, I think, isn't it? I think so. Oh, well then I'm really looking forward to this. I've, I heard nothing but good things about this movie. It's got sequels, can't be that bad. Cheers to you fam, enjoy. Find out the day you're born and the day you find out what your purpose is, huh? Yeah, guess so. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, a very tidy and neat person. Extremely. Sounds like nobody lives there. Yeah. He's got a very good morning routine here. Mm-hmm. What you got there? It's tuna. Bread? Whole grain, gluten-free. Okay, condiments? Sprouts, avocado, and veganese mayo. Sounds healthy. The bone in the tuna. You lied. lied. <laughs> Chips. You want to make security guards, you got to lose weight, you got to test in one week. Now you ask me to help you, but if you're not willing to apply yourself. It's not the worst thing you could be eating. No, it's really not. So this guy has a really Spartan life. He's got a small TV, not a whole lot of decor around his house. Keeps it very tidy, all that. He got that fish yet? Just hooked it. Goddamn time. You're in the old man in the sea? <laughs> I think so. Bought a little machine for making demos. I bet you're good. What makes you say that? Intuition. Say so where he goes, he offers advice to people. Seems like it, huh? I am sharper than a razor. Eyes made laser. Somebody's a working girl. Mm, that's what it looks like. You ever catch it? Yes, yeah, he did. The old man met his greatest adversary just when he thought that part of his life was over. He saw himself in the fish. Why didn't he just let the fish go? The old man's got to be the old man. Fish's got to be the fish. Old man eat fish. Makes sense to me. It's always the rich ones. Oh, God. Oh. He is a pig. Don't do it. There's better ways to make a living. Yeah. How you gonna pull me out of a burning building if you can't pull a tire 20 yards? I'm not strong enough. Hey, don't doubt yourself. That's why you're out here, man. Get yep. up. Come on, get up. We get better every day. Come on. Who's gonna make security guard? There you go. I like it. Let's do it again. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> His arms are gonna fall off. I'm Terry. Bob. Ow. Somehow I didn't see you as a Bob, but okay. Thank you. you look like a Robert. Robert reads books like this. My real name's Alina. What happened to your face? Someone stupid. Someone stupid. Mm hmm. Okay, it's not professional. Just tell me what you think, okay? Oh, wow. Oh, you went and made yourself a demo, huh? Good for you. Yeah. You know Mrs. Robert at home? No. Did you break her heart? She broke my eye. Yeah, that's more likely. What's she doing about? The guy who thinks he's a knight in shining armor. The only thing is, is he lives in a world where knights don't exist anymore. Is that Don Quixote? That's what it sounds like. Okay. See ya. <laughs> Making a big mistake. Call this number. I send you another one. Better. Just hand out business cards as a pimp. Yeah, she's not in full control of her life, I don't think. But now he knows who they are and how to get hold of them. Is at the ICU at Shamit. Someone beat her up real good. God, they put her in the ICU? Oh Jesus. Jesus. Beat the hell out of her. Hopefully somebody gets some damn payback. They clearly made an example of Alina, so. Mm -hmm. She hit him back. A guy called Slavi. So Slavi made the example of her. Yep. Mm-hmm. You called it. You burned one girl's face with battery acid. Oh my god. Well, they brought Terry over very young. She's been human trafficked. Mm-hmm. They're all victims of it. I imagine they all have, yeah. But if you call the cops, what are they going to do about it? Well, you know, they're being bribed. <laughs> yeah, these are not nice people. Nah, they're sitting up there in their douchebag office mm -hmm. where organized crime lives, but it doesn't. <laughs> well, you just kind of made your way up there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for that girl. She got beat up pretty bad. This girl. She had a name. Her name's Alina. I can give you $9,800. For what? Her freedom. Offer a peaceful solution first. I don't think it's gonna be enough. I think that you can come into my place of business and just buy whatever you want. Beautiful Russian girls, no problem. Just throw down this bullshit money. 
I really can't wait to watch you get what's coming to you. Uh-huh. But you've got very big balls coming in here. I like that. I like bulls. <laughs> <laughs> That's the tagline, yes. The ghost of the child. I still can see his version. Jesus Christ. You made it. You offered it to him. He, he tried to be peaceful about it. You wanted to be a prick. Oh, he's gonna go nuts. Oh, right. he's slowing time down in his head. Those fighting instincts are kicking in. Oh yeah. Sixteen seconds. What? Ooh. Oh, right at the neck. Oh! oh! God. Oh my God. Uh. Oh! Oh. The wine openers. Yeah. He just. Oh! oh. He just handled these Russians like they were nothing. Yeah. Well, he wasn't kidding about 16 seconds. 28. 28. <laughs> You're a little bit over. My man's got a real past here. <laughs> yeah. Helena, the girl you beat half to death, her life's gonna go on. Yours is gonna end right here on this funky floor. Mm -hmm. Over $9,800. Should have taken the deal, huh? How stupid do you feel? That man stands on business. Now, what is his actual past? Either he's ex-military, or he's an assassin, or both. <laughs> I'll say this man was no pip, I'll tell you that. No. <laughs> what is that? Testimony, you're still eating that salty stuff. These are for you. Oh, gee, thank you. Did you get, did you pass the test? I made the weight. Oh. Tomorrow I'm gonna ace that test, Mr. McCall. Thanks to you. No, that's you, man. What happened? Uh, hit it on something stupid. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. <laughs> Good way of putting that. On a handful of stupid. <laughs> It's a uh, Martin Kosick or Koskis or whatever. Is that who it is? Yeah. So he looks familiar too. I know he was in Lord of the Rings. Mm-hmm. Uh, Triple X. Okay. We figured two, maybe three guys kill them all that quickly. None of our informants heard about this going down. They have cameras. They know who it was. Security system's hard drive was taken, so we're blind in the end. Oh, so oh. much for that. <laughs> you drive me to my residence. Hey, uh, yeah, wait a second, Mr. Sunshine. Um, what do I look like to you? Chauffeur? This is our town. You're a Guest. I'm the one Mr. Pushkin calls in when people like you f up. Oh, he's not a boss. I'm accountable now. Listen, pal, I don't like your You've tone with me. You've taken Mr. Pushkin's money for years. Money that comes with conditions, non-negotiable conditions. I'm here to tell you what to do. He's here to protect assets. When they when they got problems, they send this guy in to go clean them up. My mom had a little accident here last night. There was a oh. fire. I see. So I'm going to help out around here now. Somebody went and set your restaurant on fire? Mom's not paying, paying the protection money. Mucho gusto, señor Mecol. Ah, es bueno que se reúna con usted, señor. Oh, he knows Spanish. Good. He knows lots of languages. He even spoke a little Russian. Listen, Teddy, I already checked this out. The Irish are clean on this one. They had nothing to do with it. Being that it's Boston, <laughs> of Makes course sense. there's yeah. Irish. <laughs> I'm all shit about what went down. If I want to take over anything, I'd do it. There'd be nothing left to you people. Careful what you say. You don't know this guy. He's too calm. He'll kill you in an instant. I hate you Russians. You're all crazy. And you're arrogant. You call anybody arrogant. <laughs> well, Mr. Looney, I appreciate your kind. It's, it's refreshing and, and lets me understand that you're not smart enough to have done this. <laughs> we pay you 15% to do business here. The additional 10% you steal, we ignore. We anticipate it as you people are such cliches. And <laughs> well, damn. I think you are coming down right. here. Oh, oh. oh. Mm. Mm. Should have kept your mouth shut. Yeah, don't bite the hand that feeds you. No. Good God. I expect a little more fight from the Irish. You would think, right? Yeah. Jesus, you're going to beat this guy to death. You know, always the quiet ones you got to watch out for. They got a devil in them. Tore him up. What the f was that? It's a message. It says, I'm here. Is that all that says? Yeah, okay. I'm here, you better help me get out of the way. Can't locate one of the other girls from Slavia's stable. Terry. I didn't know her that well. It's brave, but he'll hurt you. Mm-hmm. Tell me what you do, now. Whoever did this. 
is specialized in killing. I've rarely seen skills like this. I don't think it's someone we've encountered before. Whoever it is, just find him, Teddy. I'm talking over a million barrels this delivery. So I was wondering why they're speaking English when there's two Russian guys. For our benefit, I think. <laughs> Sheesh. That's a serious tattoo. Those are tattoos you can't find in a regular shop. <laughs> I'm sure they have their own guy on staff that does the stuff. I mean, he's running around there at the freaking Red Dragon. <laughs> I know. See, I'm me, Ben Gaki. Yep. They're shaking these, this poor girl down. Mm hmm. See, if you pay on time, no more problem. That's what it was protection money. Dirty cop. That's why Bob's on his own. Come on, let's go to the banana, get a blowing. Hey, officer. Oh. Whoa. I'd like to report a crime. Really? Call 911. Why wait city services when I got two corrupt cops right in front of me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> How'd you get your number? How'd you get that number? It wasn't hard. Neither was this. Ask the lady down the street. When they had the fire, same thing could happen to you. Oh, he's got you. <laughs> you guys are going to jail. Those people you took the money from, maybe you should give it back. Why would we do that? <laughs> oh! Man, this guy is no joke. Protect and serve. Uphold the law. Justice. Remember. Use their badge as a meal ticket. Mm -hmm. This guy's out there being a regular angel with armor for him. Mm -hmm. That had to hurt their pride. <laughs> you think? Did anyone else visit her? A man. A man. A black man. His name. He didn't say. I'm sure. Something tells me you're gonna find out soon enough. There's gotta be cameras around with this guy somewhere. <laughs> Why do you have to be this way? She knows what you're gonna do. You're just torturing her now. Good lord. He did that slowly, too. What is wrong with these people? I don't know, man. They're just looking out for each other. That's what the girls do. Yeah. They they have nobody, you know? You guys expect loyalty, but then you punish people for being loyal to each other? I mean, come on. Oh, you got the job. Look at Look that. at you, man. Congratulations. Is he armed security, you think? I don't see them shooting people at home, Mark, but we'll see. Well, <laughs> this person walks in the front door several minutes after Slavia arrived. But never comes out. Not well, that, hell, that's nothing. I know. <laughs> like, who was that? Register what I just said. Oh, they're being robbed. Well, this guy's surrounded by crime. That ring, too. Give me that ring. No, it was my mother's. Your mother, give me that ring. Jesus. You should have stopped at the money, dude. Yeah, he's planning how to kill you right now. Lord, he just builds like a internal profile on these guys in his head, doesn't he? Mm-hmm. It's okay, Jenny. He's not gonna keep it for long. Yeah. Where's your buddy in security at? That's a great question, <laughs> man. It, it... These guys probably got plates. Yep. Yep. Because they're idiots. Shame on you. <laughs> it's only money. That does have to weigh on you if you're security. Right. Day one on the job, and I've already let this place get robbed. He's already oh. got him. <laughs> Grab the hammer. <laughs> He's gonna make this guy feel it. Well, this guy's on a serious vigilante streak. Oh, there is your ring. That. Uh, oh, thank you, there. My ring. My precious. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> He's just gonna put the hammer back. Oh, come on, it's used. You can't bring it back. That's how you know you got a quality product. It's still like new. Mr. McCall. Oh, oh boy. Sorry to bother you. We're looking into a homicide that occurred two weeks ago. Russian restaurant. Yeah, you sound so Bostonian. <laughs> May I ask why you dined at that particular restaurant? Like Poroshki. There's five authentic Russian restaurants within walking distance of your apartment. Mm. There's five oh. of them in walking distance of your house? That's interesting. Damn. Sheila Saunders, but she won't be any help. She wasn't there. Her daughter had a fever. You didn't stay long. I didn't check my watch. Nice alibi. How'd you find me? I paid cash. We didn't have a reservation. How'd you find me? That's what we do, Mr. McCall. We do. He sees right through your bullshit. Yeah. You ain't fooling nobody. You know what? You ought to just show up at his house. <laughs> oh, God. And be like, man, if it's okay for you to show up at mine, I'm coming to yours. <laughs> College educated. Worked straight 40 at the home mark. All lies. Fabricated. So this guy's a really secret pass. If they're all lies and fabricated, yeah. Yeah. No cheese, please. You got it. <laughs> Is it just you, or are we waiting for someone else? <laughs> oh, yep, that's what I thought. The tattoo's gonna give it away. If you really work the power lines down there, your hands wouldn't look like that. I know we gotta be waiting for somebody else. <laughs> yep. He's good. Hands where I can see him. 
<laughs> Just a massive Mac-10, okay? <laughs> when that thing passes, you're dead. By the time they see him, he'll be dead. Yeah. Oh, this thing again. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> With that little old book? He just makes such short work. I know. What the hell is this guy doing? Oh, he's taking pictures of you. Yeah. Now he's gonna find out who you are. I love this guy. <laughs> Once you guys just shoot him, you have plenty of opportunity. You have. So no, it's not his blood. That can't be. Yep. That's two down. Another oh, cop. Another cop. Interesting. This town is dirty. Yeah, it is. It's like there's a party all over again, but with Russians. Uh-uh. Oh. Oh. Because there's one way to make sure it stays on there. Well, and it's honey, and it's it's good. It's, it's good antibiotic, healing. yeah. I don't know where he took that wound, though. I guess the guy grazed him when he hit him. Are you not where they're at? You're not. Well, he's long gone. He was somewhere else. Guy had the drop on him. They go, by the way, I own the apartment building. Patterson, check the closets, the kitchen, the back porch. Jesus. <laughs> he's got eyes on the whole house. Hell yeah, he does. <laughs> and you can turn that into the police, the real police? Mm-hmm. Call the FBI. Yeah. Check the computer. He's got night vision and everything. Smile. Plane ticket to Mexico two days ago. He's on the run. Let's get someone down the airport. He's not going to the airport. Oh no. He's watching us. Yeah, you're on candid camera, idiots. Find him or I will bring people who can. You can't do it. Who are you going to bring this better than you? Isn't that what they sent you there for? The thing is, he's got you on camera now. He could just turn you all into the, in the, feds. the feds. Yeah. Since you're all dirty cops. Right. Hey, there's Bill Pullman. <laughs> sure is. I need to know who this man is. Well, she knows. When they told Susan you were dead, oh no, not Robert. And not from something as trivial as a car bomb. <laughs> trivial? <laughs> Vladimir Pushkin. He's similar to the other oligarchs who jumped in bed with the Russian mafia, only he funds everything. Why do they always look like that? <laughs> I don't know. It's so stereotypical. <laughs> Your friend here is who Pushkin sends when he's got a problem. Real name, Nikolai Ichenko. Skill set honed in Spetsnaz. Of course. Boston PD. Detective Remar and Detective Pedersen. Oh, shame on y'all. Y'all know this? You should yeah. have taken them down. Why are they not in jail? We found them yesterday. Suffocated. Oh, Testicles my. blown off and shoved down their throats. Oh, oh God. Classic Russian mob hit. That's classic? <laughs> That's what they normally do? <laughs> Blow balls off first and then kill. Robert, that girl, Alina. Why? One day somebody does something unspeakable to someone else. Do something about it, because you can. Sometimes we make the wrong choices to get to the right place. I don't think that was the wrong choice. Like they say, with a great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> this guy's probably scared shitless, because the other two guys got their balls blown off, so... <laughs> and he's by himself. Yeah. Uh-oh. Too easy. He's just gonna turn the ignition on. Let the gas do it. <laughs> and you gotta sit there and watch him too. Oh yeah. Oh. I don't think he can talk. <laughs> Why don't you get out of here? Go yourself. Click. <laughs> I am a cop, you moron. A dirty cop. Yeah. Your badge doesn't mean shit when you're dirty. Jeez. <laughs> How long does it take for that to kill you? I'll be back. No. <laughs> Get me a sandwich. You can either die my way or theirs. Those are your options. Oh, look, he talked. We're here to see Andre. <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> and of course, we're laundering. Good God, it's a lot. This of is money. this is the real business right here. Good God. Is this legit money or is this counterfeit? Hey, Andre. Who's this piece of shit? The new guy. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh, Bad well. move. What'd you think was going to happen? You tell them to put the guns down, lay down on the floor with their hands behind their back. They'll do that, won't they? Uh, he won't will do they? It. I don't think so. 
Indulge me, Andre. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> you got him lined up. <laughs> Was he paying everybody on the way out? Pushkin, Pushkin thanks you very much. <laughs> Jesus. Everybody gets a, that's a severance package here? Wow. Man, he's basically just like spitting in their face. I know he is. I love it. Disrespected his badge. You understand me? Mm -hmm. I got nothing. All right. Think they're not coming for you. I am a dead man. You did by your own hand. Nobody made you get in bed with these guys. Right. I was a good cop. Emphasis on the was. Mm hmm. Do the right thing. Do it for the good cops, Frank. Just let me know when you're done, detective. Okay. Running around there acting like a detective. I love it. He's got a badge. That's all he needs. Yeah. <laughs> on the flash drive. I don't know, but he has a, it's his bug out bag there pretty much. Mm -hmm. I guess he's going to jail after all. I don't know what's on the flash drive though. 200,000 in the trunk of his car. Recording of the whole deal with these guys on the seat. Well, package says policemen saying they did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there they are. Freezing their butts off. You mean he tied them up and nobody put up a fight, really? All of them? Shit. Good God, look at all that money. Good Lord. Oh, yeah. It's a you, treasury in here. You really just pissed on Pushkin's Burt Loops here. The sad thing is he probably has like five times that much money. Yeah, he probably got ten of those places. Look at this guy. My <laughs> men will find him. I'm good. He's what I expect. You gotta be careful. Mr. Pushkin can't afford all this. I know. <laughs> Oh, look who's afraid to answer his call. Mm. He's not coming back. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you can call your boss and tell him to shut down his operation. That's not much of an offer. That's the only one you're going to get. When you pray for rain, you got to deal with the mud, too. Mm. I have no feelings about you one way or the other. You're like, like lint or, or a bottle cap. You're just a thing to remove. You haven't been able to do it. Yeah. Famous scholar lived in Moscow. And even though he had five beautiful children, he opened his home to a sixth. The kid had been pounded by the system from an early age, prone to violence. Is it his life story? That's what I've been thinking. A week later, intruders broke into the man's house, killed the man and his wife. They said some small things were stolen, things a child might steal. Oh, my God. Yeah, do my you mild chick. Mm-hmm. Biliak. Yeah, I think the boy did it. Yeah, this man is like an ex-CIA ghost or something. He has a lot of information. He does. A good man would do that to him, would throw him away, like a piece of lint or a bottle cap. You think you know me? Yeah, it seems like he knows you pretty well. The men I killed, I gave them a chance. They made their decision. I'm giving you the opportunity to make yours. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I promised someone that I love very much that I would never go back to being that person. But for you, I'm going to make an exception. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's a little bit of a compliment, honestly. He's that bad a guy? Yeah. What do you see when you look at me? Something tells me he's not going to give up that easily, though. The problem with being a sociopath is sometimes you don't do the smart thing. You also don't think to yourself, he had me dead bang in this restaurant. If he wanted to, he could have killed me right there. Yeah. Gun under the table would have ended it real quick. Yeah. Oh, he's got a list of all the people they're paying off. Oh, my God. <laughs> he's going to bring down the whole, the whole system. <laughs> and you got all the girls. Agent Mosley, please. But you found some money today. Check your personal email. Make sure you're sitting down when you do. Make your blood boil. If you cover it up, I'm coming for you, too. Oh, yeah. Well, hopefully he didn't send it to somebody who's on that list. <laughs> Surely not, but I wonder how he trusts Mosley. His name may have been given to him by his friends in the CIA there. Maybe. He's got to have some reason to trust this guy with all this information. You would think so. Jeez. Good God. Of course. Walk away with the explosion behind you. Hey, that's what heroes do. Yes. Oh, my God. God, just blew up the whole docks. You just started World War Three. Why does this look like a nuke went off? It does, doesn't Because of the oil pipeline. Oh, yeah. You just took... The oligarch's oil away from them. Good night. Push is gonna have like nothing left, right? This started out with him reading Old Man in the Sea. Yeah. In a diner. <laughs> and here he is blowing up an oligarch's empire. <laughs> like it's nothing. <laughs> he shouldn't have slapped that girl around, I guess, huh? No, apparently not. Yes. Your life for that. Who's? Mr. McCall? Oh, no. Who's with you? 
Jenny, Brian, Jay, and Marcus. Uh, That's a lot of hostages. Yeah, they took the homework. My men that will kill them in 30 minutes. Unless they're here in 29. In another place. He could just go to the homework and free his, free his friends. That'd be the first thing I'd do. Right. <laughs> we all have a bug on him? His phone. They can track his phone. Mm. Unless he put his phone on one bus and he's got on, on another. another. Yeah. When you see him, shoot him. Yep. There's nobody there. It's exactly what he did. He left his phone on there. <laughs> Call forwarding. Oh, he's got a burner. Okay. <laughs> Every little thing's going to be all right. Yep. So, which way is it coming from? The PA system's in the security office. Man, he's not the DJ. He's just the security guy. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> just walked away. Oh my god. He handles these guys. Oh, oh my god. god. He handles these guys so easily. That's what is he shot like nobody yet. I know. He's speaking on their own system. Of course. He's gonna learn them out one by one. Stop. Stop. Yes, don't shoot. Yep. Put your friend in danger for nothing there. I know, man. Get everybody out of here. Don't leave anybody behind. Get into the service doors in the back, okay? Go. That's your job when you become security. If you want to not be used as bait, become something else. Very clever, Mr. McCall. I decided to come and see you. Yeah? Interest you in some sandpaper? <laughs> you guys are in his world now. <laughs> his is my home mart. <laughs> I see a montage of him putting all the tools on. Oh, God. <laughs> Puts a spade into his tactical vest. <laughs> he starts frisbeeing, like, saw blades at him. Oh, God. Actually, that might work. Yeah. Oh, is that barbed wire? I think it is. He's just looking at him. Oh, it's hell of a way to die. Oh, God. Yeah, you should have chosen your life a little better. Oh! oh. What on earth? <laughs> he went right through him! Good God. <laughs> With the tree shears! <laughs> oh, it's serrated too. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Finally, he took a wound. That's the second one he's taken. Some first wound. <laughs> a little scratch. <laughs> Is it a doorknob? He's gonna home alone him. Oh, he's oh. cauterizing his wound. Okay. Never mind then. God dang. Tough as nails, man. Oh. Is that a drill? Yep. <laughs> oh. 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 oh, God. They call him the handyman. <laughs> <laughs> he likes to kill with tools. Mm. <laughs> She's a piece of glass. Yeah, right into the back of the neck. Jesus. He's a big guy. He's not going down easy. Yeah, he's going to die eventually, though. He's the only one that's put up a fight so far. So far, yeah. Oh, oh, Jack face across, across the glass. ground. <laughs> Oh, there it is. That'll do it. I'll tell you what, you are reducing our Russian problem in America. <laughs> it's me, Mr. Oh. oh, Why'd you come Mr. back? Ralphie. He said not to leave anybody behind. Ugh. Fuck 90 my ass. What he's dealing with <laughs> is not worth your paycheck. <laughs> so I see at least two left. Come on. Oh, yep. I told you to stay behind. Can you make it to the breaker box? Turn them lights on. Mm. 40 seconds, exactly. Now's the time to go. They're changing clips. Yep. Is he going to make it? He better hope so. Oh. He... Oh. <laughs> Good lord. He timed that perfectly. 
Not the break room, man. <laughs> Where are people supposed to eat? No more breaks. <laughs> oh no. He was a corporate spy the whole time. <laughs> there you go. Shoot again. Oh no. Hey. Oh, he shot a nail gun at him. Was that a nail? It looked like a key. Well, I thought it was. It would be funny if it was a key. He's gonna kill you with a nail gun. Oh! oh. Come on, I thought you were the tough guy. <laughs> now here's the piece of lint. Who are you? I'm the handyman. <laughs> <laughs> you do deserve to die. Oh, God. He likes making these guys bleed out, doesn't he? He's useless right now. He'd probably die from the wounds anyway. True. It's a satisfying finish to that. Built up this guy to be, you know, so tough and powerful, and he dies like it's nothing. One guy put up a fight. <laughs> right. And it's only because of his size. Yeah. Are we back in Russia? You're going to go cut the head off the snake? I mean, that's what you got to do. You want to finish the job. You have to. Three days. <laughs> this is Pushkin's compound, no doubt. I'd stay in there if I were you. <laughs> He's got you. Who are you? Say the handy man. <laughs> so it's you. <laughs> Just fucking with him with the light. <laughs> now you come to kill me. Yes. What do you gain from my death? Face. It's expensive to buy. I only need one bullet. Yep, which I borrowed off of you guys. <laughs> Is he gonna electrocute you? Oh, maybe. Oh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Handyman indeed. <laughs> okay, every way but with a gun. He MacGyvered his way through this movie, man. <laughs> he really did. <laughs> Killed all his guards, everything. <laughs> Bob Vila here. Bob Vila. <laughs> Looking good, girl. Pretty different, huh? Night and day. Much better. Mm -hmm. Much healthier. Yeah. I'm reading now. Oh, no. Yeah. Very good. Got a job, too. Oh, she's gone and picked her life up. Good, good. She deserves it after being trafficked. When they gave me my stuff back at the hospital, there was this envelope with my name on it. Almost $10,000 inside. What? The 9800? 9800, yep. Someone else told me I could be whoever I wanted to be. Body mine. Spirit. You're gonna be okay, girl. Thank you. For everything. I don't think you know how much he did for you. There's no way you could know. i catch you around, all right? Okay. I send this message to any criminal <laughs> trying to terrorize my town. I will make this fight equal. Mm. <laughs> no, we're not gonna end with the self-dialogue, okay? <laughs> so we don't know where the term equalizer comes from? It's just the title of the show? Fine by me. <laughs> okay. Invisible Man. Interesting choice. Yeah, Suitable for him. Well, not really. The Invisible Man went crazy. Is it in the top 100? I wonder. Probably. I know he's got a Craigslist page. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They need more information than that, Robert. Change his name to Craig. Craig. Oh, God. <laughs> My name is Craig. Craigslist. <laughs> I'm a handyman. <laughs> what a movie, man. Yeah. That was uh, fun. I like that. That was really fun. I mean it, man. Shouldn't have been the equalizer. Should have been the handyman. <laughs> I'm going to say, he didn't shoot a single person in that movie that I can recall. Right at the end there, he was using a whatever that was, a bolt gun or something. And it's crazy, too. How much easier would it have been for him to use a gun? But he took those guys down using just whatever was around, and he still had no trouble with it. Pretty damn silent, man. Silent and smooth. Yeah. It was crazy. I know. like, And how like efficiently he did it with most of these guys, that was even crazier. Yeah. Because they stood no chance not even the bigger guy he was really just dead and didn't know it right i mean he still took some pretty serious wounds we got robert on the ground and then by that point it's just a matter of time till he died i know but he was pretty impressive there now i'm curious to see what the top 100 books are <laughs> let's see if the invisible man's on it definitely some classics on here i agree with the odyssey yeah there's don quixote which we mentioned in the movie so he was already reading it iliad yeah divine comedy there it is invisible man I'll be damned. Okay. <laughs> How about The Old Man in the Sea? Have you seen that one yet? Not yet. I was looking for it. That gotta be on here, right? You would think. Oh. I didn't see it. 
Maybe it's something else he was talking about. Or he just didn't see it. I don't know. Maybe. Probably got his own reading list, too. So. I say, I imagine this list changes every once in a while, too. Stuff gets added on or taken off. Yeah, right. But I do got a bone to pick here, man. This, uh... Our new security guard, while I get it, man, you're uh, you're brand new to this job. We expect a little more of results from you there, not letting this place get robbed. <laughs> right? Should, should you be watching the cameras, making sure guys don't walk in with guns? Exactly. I don't know what you were doing, but look, from one guy who's been on a weight loss journey to another, mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you this straight up. Your journey doesn't stop once you hit your goal, okay? <laughs> like, yes, finally I got the suit. I can just sit back and relax. Like, yeah. no, you actually have to work. Good. Now these Pringles belong to me. No. <laughs> hey, how that works. You have to get in shape. You have to stay in shape. Yeah. I'm sure that might be a prerequisite with Home Mart. <laughs> Apparently, attention to detail is not a prerequisite. No. I'll tell you what, though. These Russians had connections all over Boston there. Yeah, the, I say all the police were corrupt. They had senators in their pockets, representatives. That was ridiculous, man. All And it all stemmed from one guy, of course. It's crazy how much they were paying off. What I want to know, though, is what happened with all those people, because we know he sent that list to the FBI. So what can be the fallout from that? Are they actually going to put these guys in jail or more than likely just hold it over them? What, anybody that's left? Yeah. Because, I mean, you can, but, well, I mean, so you already took out the top part of that of that problem there, right? He took out... Right, obviously, the, obviously took they're out. not getting any more money, but now the question is, you know, what do you do about the fact that they were corrupt in the first place? True, true, because now you've got the corrupt cops to deal with. Mm -hmm. You had a whole list of uh, women who were trafficked into the country illegally. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, Alina there should be the example of like, okay, well, clearly good things have happened for you. Hopefully it's happened for all the other girls. But one of them was killed. Or right, hurt, right. You know? I mean, justice was served for her, but still. Yeah, but I mean... You know, there's a lot of really unanswered questions there. And the other thing about this movie, too, that I thought was kind of weird is they kept talking about his past, about how he lost his wife and all that stuff. Really didn't make any difference to the story. We didn't learn much about him in that regard, did we? Yeah. So. Like, supposedly he made a promise to her that he, you know, wouldn't go around killing people, but he didn't seem to have much trouble with it. No, it's a switch for him that's easy to turn on yeah. and off. I would imagine, since there's three movies... It's probably covering one of the other ones. Or, or throughout them. Mm -hmm. Because there's past to this guy right that would ex really explain his character well otherwise i'm willing i'm willing to take a lot of his stuff on faith because of what he's done his body of work there right i think they answered questions at some point okay yeah because they really don't do it here and that's the thing that's kind of bothering me is they keep talking about his wife about how much she meant to him and everything but then you know these aren't the guys that killed her we don't even know how she died for all we know she died of natural causes kind of adding a lot of dramatic backstory to the guy and it not really being relevant to what's happening for the most part <laughs> right yeah because i mean it was clearly somebody that he loved but what it meant to the story other than just character not much right so. yeah it's just crazy how easily he's taking these guys down though it was like like they were nothing to him it really was his experience is is what I want to know more about. Mm -hmm. You don't deal with people with that much level of ease without having some kind of background of being, done this a lot. Yeah, because we were talking like John Wick. You know, part of John Wick's thing is that he has serious endurance. Yes. Like he takes a beating and he just keeps going and going and going. This guy really didn't take a beating. He just took him down like it was nothing. You didn't really get tested. No. Yeah. And that's pretty bad considering at least one of the guys he was dealing with was Spetsnaz. Yeah. So I, I expected more, honestly. I expected him to get you no, know, at least bloodied up there at the end. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, he took a couple of shots, but I mean, I expected him to be limping out like John McClane walking out of Nakatomi Tower. He walked away like nothing happened. No, he got <laughs> grabbed the towel, dried off, and went to Moscow. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, my God, this guy's too overpowered. Right? The other thing is, like, the other two cops that were with the one guy that, that went in handcuffs there, mm -hmm. those were the guys that got their junk blown off. Yeah. Why do that to your guys, man? What, what it, it really is about sending a message of, of scare tactics because if you look at it, the fact these guys went down so quickly, they weren't that good at fighting. They never were. It was all about it was all about scaring people into doing what you wanted. I guess if you're no use to them, then the, yeah. The fact that one man can come down and unravel your entire organization by himself pretty much shows you guys are nothing. Yeah. But but threats. Good on him though. I mean, he only needed himself. <laughs> yeah. Not a whole lot to say about this movie. I mean, it, it really just was pretty straightforward. Good action there. It took a little while to build up, but once it did, it, it was nonstop. Yeah, that was the only thing. It, it, it took him a while to, to set up the fact that he kept going to this diner and meeting these people and everything before it really understood, okay, well, clearly there's stuff going on here. He's going to have to deal with it. Well, at the very least, I'm glad Alina got justice. 
I'm glad that her other friend there got justice as well. Upset that she got killed for that. She was just less than a loose end, in my opinion. So I don't gonna say, she was no threat to anybody. No, no. Why? She she wanted to protect her friend, so she lied? Big deal. Yeah, they just had to set up the one guy to be you know, really evil and, and worth dying, I guess. Always the Russians. <laughs> Always the Russians. Always. But with Robert, we're granting the Cold War one Russian at a time. Mm. But we'll have to deal with that Cold War another time, Dan. Mm. Because for now, we're just going to leave it there. Let us know in the comments, guys, if you want us to continue watching the uh, the other two Equalizer movies. I kind of am curious now and want to find out what's going on there. There's definitely some past there to be explored. <laughs> yeah. So let us know if you think that's worth watching, guys. But in the meantime, if this is your first time with us, I hope you'll consider subscribing and help our channel grow. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and hit the bells to receive notifications for all future videos. And should you feel compelled to give us a piece of your mind, piece of your mind do so in the comments. While you're at it, take a look at us on our socials. We're on Instagram and TikTok. See what we're up to over there, guys. But in the meantime, this is Cocktail Flicks. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. We'll catch you on the flip side. Cheers to you, fam. Cheers to you, Dan. Cheers to you, Joe. Later, guys.